What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Today we're going to be talking about how to install Google Tag Manager on your WordPress website. Talk to you a little bit about what Google Tag Manager is and uh, I'll even get into how to set up a, uh, a tag and a trigger and fire it off so that you can create events in Google Analytics to track how different actions on your website are happening, whether they're happening from direct traffic, whether they're happening from organic search traffic, social media traffic, social media ads, Google AdWords ads, etc. You're going to want to see this. You're going to want to listen. If you're listening on the audio version or if you're checking out the video or reading it on the blog, this is a must pay attention. All right, so there's a few different things you're going to need in order to get going here. So kind of step you through that. The first thing you're going to want to do is uh, create a Google Tag Manager account. You can do this with an existing Gmail or G Suite account. It's relatively easy to do. Uh, it's free, so all you need to do is either sign up for free or sign in. And of course, uh, I already have an account, so I'm just going to click sign in. It's going to sign me in with my Paul at datadriven.design account. And as you can see, I have several what are called accounts here. Uh, in my Google Tag Manager account. So you get multiple accounts under your account. And so what you're gonna do is click Create Account, and uh, we're gonna come back to the screen in a minute, but now you've taken the first step to create a Google Tag Manager account. The other thing you're gonna need is obviously your website, and I'm gonna use a WordPress website as an example here. So um, this plugin is called Head and Footer Scripts Inserter. It's a great way of just easily inserting different tracking pixels and tracking code throughout your WordPress website. Uh, if you don't have it, what you're going to want to do is go to Plugins and click Add New on Plugins and then you can search for head and footer uh, right here under Keyword Featured Plugins and, uh, and you can probably see that when we search for it, it should show up as installed. So it's, so it's installed here, so this is what it looks like. And you're going to want to, uh, it's by SpaceX Chimp for those of you listening to the audio version. You can remember when you get back to your computer, if you're, if you're uh, running or working out or walking the dog or whatever right now. But for those of you watching the video, um, this is what it looks like. And when it's installed, uh, you'll find it under settings and scripts inserter. Okay, so there it is. We're going to go back to our scripts inserter. What we're going to end up doing is putting our tag manager tracking code. There's part of it that goes under the head section. Then there's part of it that goes under the footer section. And uh, let me show you how to get that tracking code right now. So you're going to set up your company and name your, name your account. Um, select web for your web container, but you're going to need to put your website name right here and then create and then uh, you're gonna have to agree to the terms of service and then it's gonna immediately give you your tracking codes so you're gonna copy this uh, header part and put it into the header section which we've already done on this particular website and then you're going to take this code from the uh, after the body tag and we put it in the footer section of the header footer scripts inserter plugin so as you can see we've already done that and then you're going to save changes which is going in WordPress which is going to put the tracking code into your source code um, but then what you're going to need to do is actually publish this to your website um, so it says container not published so once you click submit you are going to submit changes and maybe just put container published or something like launch. It's basically like launches Google Tag Manager. When you click publish, it's going to say, sing like no one is listening, and it's going to say that you have a container published. The next thing you're going to do, so now, just to quickly recap, because I know I'm probably going pretty fast here. We've opened up your WordPress website. We've downloaded the head and footer scripts inserter plugin by SpaceX Chimp. We've created a Google Tag Manager account for free using an existing Gmail or G Suite account. And we've created a Tag Manager account under that, which is confusing because it's you can have multiple accounts under your account, but you'll see it makes sense when you do it. Then within each account, it uh, as soon as you create it, it gives you your tracking 
code for the header and the after the body tag, then you go back over and paste those tracking codes into the SpaceX Chimp Head and Footer Scripts Inserter plugin. Then you um, save changes and then go back over to Google Tag Manager and publish your container. And then you're back into Google Tag Manager and the next thing you're gonna do is click Workspace. And now I'm gonna walk you through setting up what are called triggers and tags in order to see data in Google Analytics that looks like this. So when you go into Google Analytics, this is going to be the end result. This is going to be what you want. So you're going to want to go into behavior, events, and top events. This is the point of doing all of this. And you're going to want to be able to select the date range. Uh, I'm going to go back pretty far here because on this particular web property, this is when I had uh, triggers and tags firing for particular events that I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you here. So I'm gonna go back and you're gonna see here uh, some brochure downloads as event categories. So these are clicks on a PDF files um, that, we, that I named back in the day. And if you select a secondary dimension here and select source medium, you can see you know, there were 120 patient brochure downloads uh, from Google cost per click campaigns. Um, 109 of them were from were unique events, meaning 109 different users downloaded them. So this kind of data starts to get uh, very valuable in terms of making marketing decisions. And so, you know, this is the point of doing exercises like what I'm showing you here, setting up these tags and triggers in uh, Google Tag Manager so that you can get the data in Google Analytics and um, like so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set up a link click tracker tag so that in the Google Analytics account for this particular website we will see data for um, users who click this download now button okay and uh, the reason why we need to set up a tag and a trigger for it in Tag Manager is because it's an external link click. So you see it goes from domainname.com to info.domainname.com. All right? So that's going to be the end result and the reason why we're doing all of this. And now I'm going to walk you guys through the actual creation of a trigger and a tag. Okay? So... Um, here's what I've done here. I've gone in and I've, um, under Workspace and Google Tag Manager, I've gone to the account that I want to set this up for and I've selected Triggers. And then you can see that I added a new trigger uh, and I, I titled it. And I titled it Homepage Link Clicks. And um, I'm going to kind of walk you guys through the concept here. So under Trigger Configuration, you're going to click this little pencil icon and uh, you can select a, any of these trigger types, page view, click, user engagement, other. And uh, what I did was I selected uh, just links, okay? And then um, you're always gonna want to make sure that this wait for tags uh, checkbox is checked and uh, uncheck check validation. And then what I have going on here is I'm telling the trigger that I want it I want the tag to fire when the page URL is on the home page because for this particular event that I want to set up, I only want to know use, uh, the amount of users who clicked the download now button over here when they were on the actual home page. Okay, so this is, this is what the purpose of setting up this tag is for and so that's why I have enable this trigger when all of these conditions are true. And page URL equals slash means that users were on the home page. Now, if I kept this trigger fires on to all link clicks, what it would do is this trigger would fire and track on a tag when a user would have would have clicked on anything on the home page. But that's not what I want. I want it only when the user uh, clicks on this particular download now link. So what I'm going to tell it is uh, trigger fires on some link clicks and it's going to be click URL 
equals. And it's going to be this external URL of this info.domainname.com, okay? And then I'm going to save my trigger. And so now it tells me that um, this trigger is going to fire only when a user clicks on this URL when they were on the home page. So that's very important. And uh, what I'm going to do is actually rename this trigger to align with the URL. So home page link clicks of download now button for not all work created equal. And this is just for my own organization within Google Tag Manager because we're starting fresh in this particular account here. Then we're going to set up a tag next. Now we're going to set up the tag that goes with the trigger. Okay, so I went in and I clicked on, um, in my workspace, I clicked on tags and I clicked add new, the, the red button. And then um, I named my tag the same thing as my trigger. And then under choose tag type, I selected classic Google Analytics. And the reason why I did that is because I'm going to go back over to Google Analytics and I'm going to go to my property and get the tracking code and I'm going to get the UA number because I have to attribute the UA number uh, into this property ID. And then what I'm doing is tr under track type, I'm doing event. And now uh, this is what I'm going to name my event. So under category, I'm going to call it um, download. I'm going to call it a external link clicks action download now button click. And the label is going to be um, not all work created equal. And then all we really need to do here is add our trigger. And of course what we're going to do is select our homepage link clicks of download now button for not all work created equal. What we've done is created our Google Tag Manager account. We've created our container snippet for our website. We've put that container snippet into our WordPress site. We've published our container snippet. We've created a trigger to track the uh, button clicks on a specific URL to fire only on the home page. And then we've created the tag that basically gets attributed to the event. So now that these settings have been saved um, in, Go in our Google Analytics account, we're going to be able to see uh, these. It'll correspond to the names of these events. And all we need to do now is uh, just check our settings again, save our tag. Now we have a tag here that says it fires when this trigger happens. And uh, of course, what we have to do is submit this. Don't forget that. And uh, we're going to say um, home page link click of download now. And we can put whatever description you want, be as detailed as you want. Just for the sake of time, I'm going to publish it. And now we have a... Uh, tags and triggers that have been published into our container. They're going live onto our website. So now, um, as of now, what we're going to do is anytime anyone clicks this download now button, that event should be tracked. And uh, in Google Analytics, we're going to be able to make data-driven marketing decisions off of this action of creating tags and triggers in Google Tag Manager. Oh, I told you it was going to be a long one today, but I uh, appreciate your attention. Hopefully this was helpful. It's probably just the start of uh, tracking a lot of different types of events in Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, and making data-driven marketing decisions. But we hit WordPress, Tag Manager, Analytics. You can see how your website and your uh, data tracking all kind of plays together. This has been your data-driven daily tip. Thanks for watching, reading the blog, listening to the audio version. Have a great day.